Hey guys, Derek here. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I did my entire work for Disney just out of this iPad, uh, which is a 10.5 inch 2017 iPad Pro model, uh, 256 GB internal storage. So anyway, what the story is that back in March when the lockdown had happened in India and the pandemic was spreading, I flew down from Mumbai to Bangalore to escape the lockdown over there. <clears throat> and at the time, Mumbai was in a pretty bad state. So um, I only carried this with me mainly because Disney, uh, as my workstation, they gave me a desktop, which I couldn't really lug around. And for work, they do give you, uh, they did give me a Mac, okay? But that Mac is completely restricted, has only limited software like Microsoft Office and has this one Disney portal where I can access all Disney content, uh, watch and g give reviews and feedback, okay? But for at least three months from March, April, May, up till June, I didn't have any other device to use except this, okay? So um, that's, that's, and yeah, that was it. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I optimize this and use this entirely to do all my animation art and everything. And yeah, if it helps you guys, uh, it's pretty cool. But yeah, uh, let's get to it. Hey, so let's get straight to it. Firstly, the, the wallpaper on my iPad is not painted by me. It is made by Ross Tran, Ross Draws on YouTube. So the first and most important app that I actually used to help me with this was the notepad because this helped me a lot with planning. And what I did first was I created a set of needs, okay, that I um, that I needed to fulfill and what was and I had to figure out to what extent I could do it on the iPad and find shortcuts or ways on how to get it about. Now when it came to animation, concept art and illustration, these were the three key points, right? And the app that helped me the most with that was Procreate. I did use Rough Animator a little, but Procreate helped me a lot, especially when Procreate 5 came out with the animation and so on. That was a huge deal. So I'll take you guys through the apps um, slowly one by one and how exactly I use them. Then I needed to create posters which had text as well as the characters and so on for Disney, right? So for that too, Procreate helped me a lot. So Procreate was in fact the most helpful app when it came to the art side. Now when it came to viewing content and creating content for to go with animation and so on, uh, <clears throat> we do have a Disney app uh, where we can watch stuff and all of that to view. Plus uh, the typical photo viewer on the iPad is good enough, it allows you to look at a lot of formats and so on I think. But for creating content to view it was iMovie, that helped me a lot. And when it came to mails and answering all my Disney stuff and all, it was Gmail or Outlook. Mainly Outlook because that's what we use at uh, most corporate places. When it came to creating documents, okay, because I had to make presentations, pitches and so on, uh, PowerPoint was key. And also, yeah, PowerPoint was the main key and also another app called Documents, which I used for creating and accumulating resources along with Google Drive for sharing resources because that was the main aspect of like I needed a file sharing system so Drive worked really well for that. For presentations also PowerPoint worked well and for references the main app that helped me was uh, Pinterest. So now if I walk you guys through it I'll go to Procreate. Uh, Procreate is so powerful that I could use it for many many different types of artworks and not just one particular style. For example, here's, uh, here's just a few like storyboard uh, in terms of creating thumbnails, rough sketches for just different artworks that are needed, right? So they, it can be used for rough work. It can also be used for more final paintings. Like here are some keyframe works that I had created for Disney social media pages that went up. So, and also like Procreate does give you, you know, the playback feature, right? So you can always just keep it as a recording and go back and see how it's done and everything. So I really love that about Procreate. So you can go from really rough, rough sketches to final works. And uh, also it helped me a lot, you know, with character designs, cartoons for comic strips and, and so on. These are just a few rough sketches for our concept that we had in house. So it, it really helps. Like you get that natural feel also if you apply a paper texture behind. Like for example, here are just some sketches that I had uh, created, some paintings using uh, just a square the rectangular brush but you can also make real like legit looking rough sketches on it you know like these actually look like they were made with pencil and so on so i love that diversity that you do get by using procreate 
But the biggest thing is animation, right? So how do you actually go about animating on Procreate? Uh, here's an example. So each frame you make uh, happens to be another layer, okay, on the animation. Uh, what that also implies is that each group you make serves to be a separate frame on this timeline below. Uh, so like a bunch of groups that I created now form to make this animation like it's just a Harry Potter fan art animation uh, I don't think I can actually show you all Disney animation that I worked on this because that's still uh, nothing's released as yet uh, but yeah so it also helps a lot with that and here's an entire short film that I made in on Procreate uh, I'll just play one or two shots and uh, see for example this is how it looked there's this guy running, runs back in, goes to, the, goes to the table. But yeah, these are all separate shots because Procreate also has a limit on layers. So you can't actually uh, do many layers. So that's why I had to do them so many separate shots. Now adding to Procreate, how I put them together is on iMovie. Uh, over here, uh, you can see that I have all the shots lined down. And then I add a music track below it and that's mostly it. So. I'll, I'll, I'll add the link to the shot on the top right, uh, I guess at around this point. So yeah, I worked on a lot of stuff just on iMovie, this is just past few months, right? Okay, uh, next up uh, we have a Rough Animator. I did try Rough Animator a little, but honestly Procreate helped me a lot better for that. So yeah, just a, just a rough example, it works well for animatics and you know, creating some storyboards and so on. And, you can make long length projects over here, but I haven't actually put enough time or to actually make it, but I really like the tools. And you get a good gist of what's capable over here. This is more rough. I really don't know if you can make that final animations on it. So yeah, okay. Then uh, PowerPoint is, you know, as you use it on a computer itself. So this was actually a pitch I had made in-house, so where I would pitch some things to the social media team and then we decided how we could use me as a resource, right? So this was the time-lapse videos that got put up on the Disney uh, social media pages and yeah, it was just like PowerPoint on, pro on the iPad works really well. It's clean, it's efficient, it helped me a lot with making a lot of pitches and presentations. Next up we have... Um, Okay, documents. So this is what I use instead of the actual file browser to the extent on the iPad because it immediately gives me on the left links to my drive and everything plus all my files. So I keep all my resources here. These are just some of the ebooks that I keep. Like for example, here is just a compilation of some Ghibli wallpapers, right, which I can always look back and refer to. So this is also very helpful for me in terms of referencing. Here is R.T. Galen's 360 by Days of Sketching. So I really like this. I also use it as an ebook reader whenever. So yeah, it's it's very efficient. Drive, as you know, is a normal. Uh, yeah, it's just the default Google Drive. Um, okay, when it came to using references, what helped me the most and the most is Pinterest. Like I have a lot of different boards up there. If I just go to my page, like I keep all my anime references, my viz dev, character design. Uh, my city references, my nature references, I even put up my own artwork there so I can always access them easily, right? So like my character design references, I just collect them here and I can always, like I really love this feature uh, where you can just keep Procreate on one side, split the screen, keep my references over here and sketch on the right, which I think is excellent, like I love this feature. Uh, and yeah, and of course I have my Netflix, Prime, Hotstar, all of that over here so but that was mostly it it was actually really simple and when you create a plan and break it down as to what you need and what is possible the ipad is really powerful in that sense just that i had to eventually move back onto a laptop because i needed production heavy also sorry for the sound in the background there's a bit of construction happening i need some production heavy things happening so uh like i needed after effects and premiere pro to edit things and a bit of more of photoshop because it's a bit more powerful right but i think in the future i may just entirely switch over to using one of the newer ipads when a new os comes out and so on because it's super powerful and anyway that's it i hope that this video helped you guys and yeah uh, that's it thank you